Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If it's your first time here and you want to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners, a ton of other DIY projects, you can start now by subscribing and click the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm in my mother's place. She can't operate this time clock. You know, so what I'm gonna do is take out the time clock, remove it completely and put this thing in. This is a four hour boost switch. You know, if you press it once, it comes on for an hour. If you press it twice, two hours and so on. Um, and I'm gonna put this in, in instead of this Potterton time clock. She just can't operate it. And if you come out into the hall here and you hit the button once, that's it, the heating will come on for an hour and you don't need to remember to switch it off, which is great. So, okay, here we go. So first things first, a lot of these time clocks have one or two screws underneath and you just loosen them and swings out from the bottom like this. So hopefully you can see this now. There we go. And the time clock goes off. So when it's on the wall, these two little slots are screwed home and it can't open out. And then if you want to take it out, you just loosen the screws, swing it out like this, and that's it. That's the time clock off. Most time clocks work like that. So in this case, I've got a bank of switches that I put in years ago. Um, this is a, a spur unit, you know, it's a fused outlet if you like. And if I just switch that, that's everything off here now. So I can work away on the time clock wires and uh, no issues. So on this time clock, we've got a neutral, we've got a live, and we've got a switch live out. So. Okay, so that's the, the base plate of the time clock removed. Right, we've got a bunch of wires. We've got some Ertz, which are the green and yellow. We've got lives, which are the browns. We've got a switch wire, which is a single one on its own, and a pair of neutrals that need to be connected back to each other. Okay, so handy enough. So here's our clock, or our boost master electronic boost timer. Right, so. I might need to cut the box. No, I don't need to cut the box. So on this one, we've got live in, we've got live out, we've got neutral in, and we've got neutral out. So the holes aren't particularly big. So if I have any connections to do, if I had three or four wires to go into say this, I couldn't do it. I need to go into a connector block maybe, and then into this. So this little electrical back box is designed for plasterboard walls, for sheetrock walls. You know, there's two little tabs. You know, when I cut a hole, and the hole has to be fairly precise because it's only got a small lip on it. And uh, anyway, the lip stops it going in, and these little red tabs on it, they, they come out and they stop it pulling back out. Show you that now. This section is going to need to be repainted anyway because there's no paint, you know, where the time clock was on the wall. Obviously, the wall was painted around it. So this one is awkward because I've got a baton behind here. But let's um, let's start it anyway. Okay, so I'm doing this with a Swiss Army knife of sorts. So when I put this into the wall. I'm going to push these little red things, these wings, they're going to push out and they're going to stop the, the box pulling out of the wall because they'll catch the plasterboard. And as I tighten the screw, it'll pull everything together. Okay, so that's it in. Now we have a back box for this guy, and we just need to wire it up now. So on this particular switch, there's no earth connection, so I'm gonna have to put a block connector in there to connect up the earths, but this doesn't need an earth of itself. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. There's our live in, there's one in, and there's my two lives in, into the one connection. Now normally, you might not have to do this, but just that's just the way this one is configured. So that's my feed in, and a looped feed to something else. Okay, that's that done. Now we've got a switch wire out, which will be the live out on this one. So we've got live out on the top. This is my switch wire, goes to the top of the switch. Pop that in, tighten this. So we've got neutral in and neutral out. Now we don't need a neutral out on this one because of the way it's wired. But we do need a neutral in to power the switch, but we're not switching the neutral out. So this is neutral in, and neutral in here, 
There we go. So there's our two neutrals in. Okay, excellent. Now we've got some earth wires that have nowhere to go. So I'm gonna put a, um, a block connector in here to connect these up. So as it is, I'm ready to test it. It's not back in the wall yet, but um, we get to see it now. Here we go, power on. Okay, so that's the pump. This doesn't control the pump. This is just for the, the heating system. So let's see what happens. Comes up with one hour, very nice. Press it again, two hours, press it again, three hours, four hours. Fantastic. So what I've done is I've put the earths in a connector block. So all that remains now is I have it nearly on. I just have to put a couple of socket screws onto it to screw it back in. So here we go. So there you go. It's tight on the wall. It's going to need a bit of painting and a bit of filling around it. But uh, that's where the old time clock was. You can see the difference in the colour and a little bit of a chip out of the plasterboard. When that's painted again, you won't see any of that. So in theory, power on, there we go. Pump cuts in. Just switch the pump off. And there we go. The system has set for four hours. So. Let's see, if I set it for one hour now, switch the power off, let it go out. If I switch the power on, will it remember the one hour? And it does, which is fantastic. That means, you know, if the power goes off, it will remember its last setting and complete its task, which is fantastic. So we just bring that up to four hours now. Okay, so it couldn't be easier. Um, very easy to wire up. In my case, I only used the live. I didn't need the neutral. Um, I didn't need to switch the neutral, but the unit itself needs neutral to make the uh, the whole thing work. So you need live and neutral, and then your switch wire, whatever way you're going to do that. Okay, so there you go. That's my brother Alan playing keyboards upstairs. He plays trance music, and you can get him on YouTube as well. There's a few of us on YouTube. He's trance Jedi, trance Jedi. I'll put a link to this tune down below. Listen to this bit, when it kicks in. This is kind of a river dance-esque. Here we go. Maybe you remember river dance. This is his version. There you go. I'll use that actually at the end of my, my video. So that's Trans Jedi on YouTube, my brother. He's doing all right. Don't, don't get me started. My mother does YouTube as well. Okay, so look, I'm gonna leave it there for now. If you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here. Have a listen to Trans Jedi if you like, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.